so you, you're willing to stab these people now because you know <laughs> prison is not really for me. <laughs> Locked up abroad is not for me. I'm not on it, my sister. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm gonna to be doing story time about what actually happened in Aviva. Basically, see that whole trip? It was not what it looked like. You guys were seeing us on Snap, living it up, enjoying it. But these times, a madness was happening behind the scenes. So yeah, if you guys wanna know what fucking happened and all the tea, then fucking stay tuned, okay? All right, so boom. This summer, yeah, I went on a fuck off for my holidays. I'm not gonna lie. Going on holidays is my guilty pleasure. And a lot of people know that, you know what? If I'm gonna go on holiday, Nell will be on it. Nell will be on it. Nell will be on it. And that is the case. But obviously, me and Ads now, we went IB for on a scatty spontaneous thing. We just like, fuck it, let's go IB for. But it went, had the time of our fucking lives. So then when we came back from that holiday, we were just like, no, 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 no. We gotta go back to IB for. We gotta go back to IB for. But we didn't really know when. Because we had so much fun with that. Like, nah, we've got to go back to our before. Like, that's our place. Like, that's that's where it's at. I'm right, cool. So, obviously, you now we're chilling, chilling, chilling. You know, it gets to that September stage, yeah? You're fucking bored. So, like, you know, when you've just had such a fucking lit summer, yeah? Obviously, at the end of September, September come around and it's just like. September's fucking boring, like, all my friends are moving back up to uni, people started their jobs, everyone just starts to take life seriously. It was just a boring time for me, and me and Angela had nothing to do. But on Friday now, this is like, near the uh, mid-September, Friday mid-September, yeah, I get a fucking phone call now, yeah. A uh, phone call from Ajola, and she's like, oh, no, Maz wants us to go at B for the left. Then she puts us in a freeway phone call, and she's like, oh, yeah, no, nah, what, you on it? Ajola's like, yeah, you on it? I'm there, like, oh, man's already on easy jet, da, 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 da. like, we were guests. Like, I woke up today thinking I was gonna have a boring day, now we're booking flights, booking flights. Literally, listen, guys, I got the phone call on Friday, we booked the tickets on Saturday, flew out on Sunday. No long talking. We were gone. <laughs> we were a gone. <laughs> hey! Planned everything on Friday, booked it Saturday, flew out Sunday on a scary. So then obviously, I always had this feeling, yeah, because you know when you're congolese, you're la puissance, la puissance de l'âme. Or maybe it was just woman's intuition or whatever, yeah. I was just thinking, wait, this is just too good to be true. Like what? Flying out on Sunday, free hotel, free VIP entry to everything, cables at the club. This is just too fucking good to be true. Like Saturday evening comes now, Jola comes to sleep over at my house. Sunday morning comes now, we're on our way to the airport. I've traveled with this bitch. I know what it's like traveling with this girl yeah. everything i'm telling you guys links in okay with her she likes to get to the airport like 10 minutes before check-in time closes like she doesn't do this whole two hours or even one hour in advance obviously the the line's shorter and you get through quicker or whatever but it's still risky business do you know what i'm saying we get to the airport now she was lining up and there was like our last call for flight 2660 so i'm like it's so bomb so but we can get to cut through all of these man yeah come so when it's strolling when they're going they're strolling let's come to drop our baggages the girls like the girl was a, a black girl like she was just like oh yeah you guys are a bit late though like you guys are really late like it's literally we're just about to close but the way she was saying it i was just like well right, but we're here like we made it so we get to ib for now yeah and man's got a flight landed like 30 minutes after hours because she was coming from another airport that's closer to her house so we get to the airport now we're all gas with man don't want to play like you know proper lads proper lads were like yeah this is gonna be a good trip but first of all, I was drunk on the plane. We're seeing lads, we hop off the plane, we start seeing young people. We're like, Yeah, I will for my head. I love it. So it comes to the baggage claim now. Baggage keeps coming, keeps coming, keeps coming. The veterans have come, they've taken their luggages. And them have come, they've collected their luggage. The couples have come, they collect their luggage. Adiola has come, collected. Where's my luggage? My luggage was in Gatwick. Long story short, throughout the whole trip in Ibiza, I did not get my luggage. I didn't get my makeup, I didn't get my stripper outfit. I did get my luggage, but I got it on the last day and it's which just doesn't even fucking count. I was just like, you know what? I don't have no clothes. I'm in Ibiza. There's paintings all around, so I'm gonna just stay at home. No, home is life, bitch. This is where the story really begins, innit? Obviously, I've given you guys context, yeah? That's the context as to why I didn't have my shit together, okay? Obviously, we get to Ibiza now. During the day, the events that we went to were not far from the hotel or at the hotel, so it really wasn't even that deep but yeah we was there taking pictures chilling you know having fun living up getting drunk we was drunk as fuck blah, blah, blah. so then cool everyone knows everyone knows do not go out to a party and get drunk without having a fanny pack on my chest i always have a fanny pack wrapped around my chest everyone knows this like if i 
because if I'm going out and I'm planning on getting fuck off drunk, the fanny pack is on my chest, like on my fucking chest. Do you know what I'm saying? Like that's where the fanny pack is and that's where it stays. I need to have my ID, my phone, and my money all on my chest. Because no matter how drunk I am, you cannot rob me if, if, if the shit is sitting in between my breasts. Like, no, you're not gonna fucking rob me. I'll punch you in your fucking eye. Let's start there. See, I don't have my shit, so it's just like, okay, cool. I gave all my stuff to Mario. We got to a club now. We're at Soul City, we've got a table. So rock comes, yeah. Hey, man, we were pre drinking, yeah. And then we had a table. So it's like three of us, and there's like a fuck off So rock bottle. Like, <sighs> so then we was drinking, drinking, drinking. Damn. They're, they're shaking my sexy girl, I feel like they're whining in my waist. I was enjoying myself. <laughs> I was enjoying myself in the club or whatever, ain't it cool? And now it comes for us to come outside of the club now. We're outside the club. We kept getting stopped by men. I'm drunk, so I'm like, doo -doo -doo -doo. guys were moving to us here yeah, and were not paying attention. Like, none of us was interested. You know them aff uncles, yeah, that they sell you balloons on the strip. Everything I was coming out with, his mouth was this. Hey, baby girl, do you want canister? Hey, baby girl, would you like glasses? Hey, baby girl, I would like to talk to you. That's all that was coming out of his mouth. And then it was just all the world when we started walking away. And then Mask goes looks into her bag now. Yeah. Both of our phones and her bank cards are is missing. I'm sorry, wait. <laughs> Both of our phones were missing. Fuck Mask for now, yeah. No luggage, no phone. I had nothing to my name in ID for. Nothing. No clothes, no wigs, no shower, no makeup, no phone. Nothing. Obviously, I'm a bit slow in it. So when she's all like, oh yeah, they stole our phone, that guy stole our phone, that guy stole our phone, I'm thinking. Which can't find that guy, like, what is she talking about? Like, I feel like when she saw my reaction, Maz went mad, didn't it? This is why I call her Mazeline, by the way. Maz picked up a bottle, smashed it on the wall, started walking around like this. Have you seen our phones? Have you seen our phones? There was two phones. So you, you're willing to stop these people because you know <laughs> prison is not really for me. <laughs> Locked up abroad is not for me. I'm not on it, my sister. <laughs> and we decided to come back to the hotel. Yeah, I'm upset. I felt like I was stripped off of everything. Like I had nothing. So we tried to do find my iPhone, this, that, and the other. Come to find out, don't find my iPhone, and they found our phones in Moscow. So yeah. Yeah. Can you tell them where um, our phones ended up in Ibiza, please? Oh, uh, but he ended up in Moscow. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, guys, more of the story is, yeah, all that glitters is not gold, okay? We might have been looking like, yeah, they were like, before I joined their lives, with their posting pictures, da, da, da. it was the worst trip ever. Obviously, we can laugh back at it now, yeah, but it was the worst trip of my life. I didn't have my clothes. I didn't have my phone. So all that you guys were giving us 21k likes on the gram, you played yourself. Anyways, I hope you guys like this quick little story time. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one.